Hello, my name is Karik Malbi Ibrahim. I would like to present our group assignment. Our group consists of Mama Aiman Sazwan, Mama Aiman, Mama Fikri, and Mama Nabel. Alright, what is SME? SME is small and medium enterprise. Manufacturing sell turnover are not uh, exceeding 15 million or full time employees are not exceeding 200 workers. Uh, they are 98.5% or 900,000 plus establishment of SME in Malaysia. So, uh, next is uh, IR 4.0. IR 4.0 stands for Fourth Generation of Industrial Revolution, uh, also known as uh, Digital Revolution. Combination of technology and human capability in unparalleled way of self thinking such as a uh, self driving car and uh, drone delivered uh, sh uh, online shopping uh, in short technology uh, can do on your on their own without engineering command uh, ir 4.0 will change uh, how we live, how we work, and how we communicate. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Aiman Shazwan bin Ahmad Jafri. So the industry that we choose is freshwater fish farming. So for the fish farming of pesticulture involves raising a fish commercially in tank or enclosure such a fish pond and usually for a food. Uh, the most important, most famous species is carp, tilapia, salmon, and catfish. More than 50% of seafood was produced by aquaculture in 2016. So the specific type of fish farming is cage system, irrigation ditch or pond system, copper alloy net, composite fish culture, integrated recycling system, classic fish farming. Then, uh, the implementation of IR 4.0 that we see that we use in our company is speed and flexibility of response, new formulas for collaboration and relation, greater and better use of database and source of information, implementation and good use of new manufacturing technologies. <coughs> so for the vision to develop a strong foundation in the aquaculture industry that adopt a systematic farm management system and use biotechnology application through environmental friendly livestock practice for the mission company as a catalyst for economic activity in the freshwater fish farming for rural area to be more developed um, then the objective is succeeding in large scale and high quality halal fish farming project entering the local and international market of the halal food industry creating a complete business cycle cycle starting from seeding and fresh breeding then lastly encourage bumi putra community in participation in group fishing project that's all from me thank you Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Fikri bin Bakrin. My matrix number is CE190181. And I will explain about the action plan. For, for our project, we choose four action plan. And that is, number one is the social development. Number two is the economic development. And three, ecological health. And four, strong institution. For the social development, social development is to, ha to enhance the health and well-being of the people through the production of nut nutritious food and the development of productive and secure life foods. And second, for the economic development, is to simulate, stimulate more economic activities in rural, activi in rural communities and create more rural employment opportunities, increase incomes of rural households and save or earn foreign exchange through import substitution or more export earnings and number three number three is the ecological health is to promote the conservation of aquatic bio biodiversity enhancement of genetic resources conservation of natural resources and ecological ecological resili re resilience and lastly is 
the strong institution and that is to establish an enabling environment and develop the capability to effectively manage the sector, provide the support service needed for sustainable and responsible development and help facil facilitate and equitable equitable and fair allocation of resources and distribution of benefits next the remark the remarks based on the result of the past pilot project we need to exam examine the site specific conditions since the effect of fertilization will be different due to the effect of water quality and quantity number two for the dried cows cow for the dried cow dongs which have been collected at outdoor are less effective and and they are very costly therefore we switch, we switch to the fresh and raw livestock menu is very recommendable as a fertilizer and lastly sometimes it might be difficult to procure livestock manure as a fertilizer and efficiency of fertilizer might depend upon the fish species or condition of water therefore it must be taken into account that fertilization is not always the best solution flexible approaches such as partial feeding are also suggested to be applied depending on the situation that's all for me thank you Assalamualaikum and hi, my name is Muhammad Aiman bin Muhammad Dasi, no metric CE200089, and I'm going to do the presentation for the costing of the project. The first item that we're going to need is one unit of fish pond, which is 40 meter x 20 meter in size and including pump and aeration device. This unit is going to cost around 4,500 ringgit. The second item is the baby fish. The baby fish we're going to need around 48,000 unit per year and it's going to cost around 4,800 ringgit. The third item is the fish food. We're going to need around 40.8 kg of the fish food per year and it's going to cost around 80,000 ringgit. The fourth item is two unit of scenarios and it's going to cost around 500 ringgit. The fifth item is the handling and grading equipment. This equipment we're going to need around 2 units and it's going to cost around 400 ringgit. And the last item is the freshwater fish medicine. And we're going to need around 40 units and it's going to cost around RM400 ringgit. And the total cost of all of this item is around 90,600 ringgit. Thank you. Assalamualaikum, my name is Muhammad Nabil bin Ahmad Fauzi, my matrix number CE190124 and I will continue our presentation about the forecast. Forecast is our expectation to reach our total production can be produced for the next few hours around the globe. Okay, for the first point, the global fish farming market size was valued at $285 million in 2019 and, and expected to reach $378 million by 2027. The Global Aquaculture Alliance Annual Production Survey for Key Fin Fish Species was presented at the Gold 2019 Conference in Chennai, India. The forecast of our total production in selected fresh fish water. Okay, we can see the tilapia we can in total, total production in 2017 is reached 5.8 million and the 2020 is reached 6.8 million metric tons. We estimate um, the total production in 2021 to 2023 is 7 million metric tons and we expected to reach almost 8 million metric tons in 2024. And next is the catfish in total production is 4.5 million metric tons in 2017 and will reach uh, 5.193 total million metric tons total production in 2020 and we expect to to get almost four, 6 million metric tons in 2024. Okay, lastly, the Atlantic Salmon. Total production we get in 2017 is 2.29 million metric tons. And for this year, uh, we actually reached 2.689 million metric tons. Uh, we estimate in 
2021 is 2.74 millimetric tons and we expected to get 3.384 millimetric tons in 2024. Okay, that's all from our group. Thank you.